Mennonites. You're kidding, right? The Mennonite mob? No joke. They have a pipeline running all the way from Mexico to Canada. When I found out that there are several different sources that say that this actually has been happening and, and is happening, I immediately was fascinated. I thought, wow, that is brilliant. I will deliver the sermons, I will comfort the troubled, and I will help bring this community toward God. And it will be God who drives the evil away. The world of drug smuggling and the cocaine industry is a dark, menacing place. And so to, to juxtapose that on this pure community mm -hmm. is completely intriguing. I think the audience will just absolutely be wrapped up in it. Da bist du da? It's fundamentally an incredible story. And there is a sort of otherworldliness of the Mennonite world that exists right alongside the modern world. I'm sort of fascinated any time one's moral compass is challenged. There's no way this would happen to these people, but it does, and it did. And when someone is forced to question everything that they believe in, and everything that their life is about. It makes for some fascinating storytelling because the stakes are so, so high. On the ground. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. For people that lived off the land and you know didn't have cell phones, it was a sophisticated operation. And just learning about like how some of the detectives and stuff, how they started to track them down or what were their tells, it was a com they had to sort of reset their mind and, and their way of thinking in order to take down these groups that have existed out there. The police, hold it right there. They are moving crystal meth and cocaine, and we have to play this real because if we go soft on it, we're gonna we're gonna lose the audience. So far, they've completely uh, committed to that, which is great. What kind of father are you that you would do this to your family?